Sige, Ate Faye, thank you. And kindly lead us to our ano, opening prayer. Okay, let's uh, pray po. Um, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for another beautiful day that you allowed us to be together again, um, even virtually, Lord, through Zoom and uh, through Facebook Live. Uh, we are grateful for your grace and protection through the night uh, that we are able to rest well and uh, we are able to uh, be here with our brothers and sisters in Christ, Lord. Uh, we thank you for providing for all our needs and that we are not lacking in uh, any good thing, Lord. We worship your holy name and we pray that our worship service today will be acceptable and pleasing in your name, Lord. We pray that you will grace us with your presence. Uh, we pray uh, that you will bless our speaker, uh, our host, and our social media team, Lord, as they facilitate today's service. And uh, we pray um, for each and everyone here that joined us in Zoom and through uh, our Facebook Live, Lord. Uh, let, uh, we pray that uh, your Holy Spirit will be upon us uh, all. Uh, give us an open uh Give us open ears and open eyes as we listen to your words, as we worship, uh, worship you and uh, lift our hearts, our worries, our troubles, as well as our happiness to you, Lord. Uh, we pray that uh, by the end of this service, um, will you be the one to be glorified in everything, Lord, in, uh, in our thoughts, in our uh, words, and in our actions, Lord. And we give you all the glory and all the praise forever and ever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Ate Faith. So, hilingan ko po ang bawat isa na tayo tumayo para sa ating praise and worship. Lord, para sa inyo po ito, we love you po. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship is in one accord. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Sing hallelujah to our God. Glory hallelujah to our God. Every praise. In one accord, every praise, every praise is to our God. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah to our God. Glory hallelujah to our God. Every praise, every praise is to our God. God, my Savior. In one accord, and praise, and praise is to our God. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship in one accord. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah to our God.
nations bow before you. All the treasures turn to ashes in the light of you. Sana po lahat ay na-bless sa ating praise and worship ngayong umaga. Um, pwede po ba tayong mag-picture taking muna bago ko po makalimutan? Ayan. Ayan. Gusto ko lang po i-welcome back. Ang namiss po yung Tito Ben and Tita Judy sa Zoom. <laughs> Ayan. Sige pa mag-picture po muna tayo. Uh, Brother D, pa-open po ng camera. Sige ba? 
Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. Sapa po. One, two, three. Ayan. Thank you so much po sa ating picture taking. Sobrang na-miss po namin si na Tito Ben and Tita Judy at dahil dyan. <laughs> um, Tito Ben, how will you celebrate Christmas this year? And Tita Judy. Ayan. Bago po tayo magpunta sa ating pitching. Uh, ano ba yun? We'll celebrate Christmas uh, dito lang sa Baguio. Uh, of course with Jesus and uh, ikaw Jude sa akin actually Christmas is everyday ang pinagkakaiba lang pag Christmas season uh, you meet with your ano, relatives bigay ka uuwi pero just the same yung spirit of Christmas is the um, pinakasenter is Jesus Amen. Thank you, Tito Ben, Tita Judy. Ayan, wag po nating kalimutang isama si Jesus sa ating celebration dahil siya po ang reason sa ating season. Okay. Um, I wouldn't want to miss uh, yung answer ni Brother Dick at Tita Josefa. Short lang po. Uh, how will you celebrate Christmas this year, Brother Dick? Oh, Wala akong makita. Dating ganun ka niwala. Ay, nakamute po kayo, Brother Rick. Okay, okay. Ano uli yung question mo? Okay po. For one million pesos question, in the joke lang po, <laughs> how will you celebrate Christmas this year? Ayun po. How will I celebrate? Very quietly, definitely because I live alone. <laughs> it's going to be quiet, but of course I'll I'll have uh, Christmas dinner with my daughter and my and her family. You know, very very simple. Yeah, and thank you, Brother D. And how about Tita Josefa? How will you celebrate Christmas this year, po? Uh Siguro po, uh, I will celebrate Christmas with my own family and at the same time with the presence of God through our Lord Jesus Christ. And at the same time with that blessed hope that uh, hopefully and prayerfully na before mag-end ng uh, season, uh, I can do also the things that God wants me to do, especially for His kingdom purposes. And uh, to share also that Jesus Christ is only our Savior and our Lord. To other people, you know, for His glory and His uh, great, uh, highest praise. You know, po. Thank you, po. Thank you, Tita Josefa. Ayan, napaka meaningful and purposeful po talaga, no? Ayan. So, um, gusto ko din pong shout out yung mga sagot ng ating mga uh, nasa Facebook Live para hindi ko pa sila makalimutan. Okay. Uh, welcome po, Sister Joyce Kulanay, tsaka Orlita Lucas. Yan, welcome po. Ayan, sabi ni Kuya Alvin, treat myself, matulog at pahinga kasi hindi na holiday. Hehehe. <laughs> And maybe plan activity with good will in this Christmas. Ayan, Kuya Alvin, sige. And sabi ni Sister Wills, good morning po. We'll spend with family and online dance. Ayan. Di ba, letan months lang yan, sis. Okay. So, uh, rundown ko lang po yung mga kasama natin sa Facebook Live, no? Sister Wilma, Sister Kim, uh, Ate Rachel, Ma'am Weng Ferrer, Jubes Lopez, Ate Arlene, Tita Joan, Tito Jerry, Sister Jona, Brother Sean, uh, Sister Jennifer Camero, Kuya Rex, Tita Emma, Kuya Aldwin, Ate Che, Ate Jenny Rojas Reyes, and uh, Kuya Ahmed, Ate Kay. Ayan. And uh, uh, Brother Rinaldo Gonzalez, good morning po. 
Okay, sige. Hindi ko na po patatagalin. Tatawagin ko na po ang, ang, ang napakaganda at napaka-energetic nating speaker ngayong uh, umaga, Tita Dang. Good morning! May pamasko ka sa akin, Karma. Binubola mo ako, ah. <laughs> okay, good morning po sa lahat. Maraming salamat uh, sa opportunity muli na um, mag-speak sa Sunday. Yan, yeah, nakakamiss. Pero naninibago kami dito sa <laughs> live pastor. Ano ba? <laughs> Nung nag-worship, nawala yung internet. <laughs> May kalaban na naman. Ayan, okay. So, good morning everyone. Um, bago po tayo mag-umpisa, manalangin po muna tayo. Panginoon, maraming salamat. There's joy in our hearts. There's peace in our mind. Oh God, sa araw na ito. Kasi alam namin na kahit may mga enemies surrounding us, oh God, uh, we are protected. We are surrounded by your favor. We ask that uh, you give us wisdom today upang ma, uh, pag-aralan namin mabuti ang iyong mga salita at uh, sana ma-apply namin kung ano man ang aming mga In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So, uh, kung nanood po kayo kahapon dun sa ating uh, Bible study na, pag- na pag-usapan po natin ang tungkol kay Mary at uh, yung... Um, Angel na nagsabi sa kanya na siya nga ang napili ng Panginoon na uh, magbubuntis, uh, mag-conceive sa Messiah. So napakagandang um, balita yon kay Mary at uh, talagang nung una natakot siya. But uh, sabi nga ng Angel dun sa Luke 1, no, Don't be afraid Mary, for you have found favor with God and behold, You will conceive in your womb and bear a son and you shall call his name Jesus. No? Tapos din sabi pa ng angel, he will be great and will be called the son of the most high. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And his kingdom, there will be no end. No? So ang um, sabi nga ni Mary, paano po mangyayari ito? Sabi niya, since I am a virgin, no? The angel answered her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. Yan. And behold, buntis din daw si Elizabeth in her old age kahit na siya ay tinatawag na baren, no? Because nothing is impossible with the Lord. At anong sagot ni Mary? Behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. Ito yung pinakamagandang yes na narinig sa buong uh, mundo siguro nung panahon na yon. Ano po, brothers? Kasi talagang um, nakita natin yung... Um, humbleness ni Mary and uh, yung obedience ni Mary sa um, balita ito na kanyang narinig. At syempre, kailangan niyo ito ng courage din kasi hindi naman niya alam kung ano talaga ang mangyayari. So, yun po yung napag-aralan natin kagabi sa Bible study. Ituloy ko lang dun sa Luke 1, 39. Ito naman yung pagkatapos ng balita na yun, uh, pumunta rin si Mary para bisitahin po si um, Elizabeth no at sabi nga ni uh, Elizabeth no when Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting the baby leaped in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the holy spirit wow so in a loud voice she exclaimed blessed among are you among women and blessed is the child you will bear But why am I so favored that the mother of my Lord should come to me? As soon as the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed is she who has believed that the Lord would fulfill his promises to her. Wow. Diba? So talagang ito confirmation ni, ni Mary din. 
na totoo lahat yung yung sinabi ng angel at uh, eto nga kahit baby na nasa loob no ng tiyan eh talagang naglip pa daw si uh, yung baby niya wow so ang pangalan ni Mary dito ay blessed so ang focus po ng ating pag-uusapan ngayon actually is yung awit ni Mary kasi po last week pinag-usapan po natin sinabi ni pastor na ang pag-celebrate ng Christmas ay dapat full of hope. No? So ngayon, ang pag-uusapan naman natin, ang pag-celebrate po sa, na natin ng Pasko ay full of praise naman. Yan, no? full of praise. Kasi uh, God deserves all the praises that we can give Him naman talaga. So ang focus nga po ng ating um, pag-uusapan ngayon ay yung awit ni Mary. Actually, um, nung bata-bata pa ako, nag-aral ako sa SLU, inaawit namin yung The Magnificat. No? Ito kasi yung awit ni Mary. So, basahin na lang po natin. Pwede ko na huwag kantahin, pero walang ano, akampanya rin. <laughs> Joke. So, my soul glorifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. Kung ikaw nga po naman ang uh, napag na bigyan ng role na maging nanay ng Savior ay talaga namang your soul will glorify the Lord and your spirit will rejoice in the Lord. Sabi niya dito, my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has been mindful of the humble state of his servant. From now on, all generations will call Holy is His name. His mercy extends to those who fear Him from generation to generation. He has performed mighty deeds with His arm. He has scattered those who are proud in their inmost thoughts. He has brought down rulers and their thrones, but has lifted up the humble. He has filled the hungry with good things. Diba? But he has helped his servant Israel, remembering to be merciful to Abraham and his descendants forever, just as he promised our ancestors. So Mary stayed with Elizabeth about three months and then returned home. Yon. So I think nahintay niya pa si guru ng anak si Mary kasi on the sixth, I see Elizabeth. Naintay ba niya? Okay. So, uh, yun po yung ating pag-uusapan ngayon. Ano? Yung um, song of praise ni Mary dahil sa kabutihan ng Panginoon sa kanyang buhay. So, napansin po natin, ano? kilala ni Mary ang ating Panginoon. Kilala niya. No? Doon sa uh, kanyang mga awit na kasusulat doon kung gaano niya kakilala ang Panginoon. So Mary acknowledges the greatness of God. Ang tawag niya sa kanya ay the mighty one. The holy God. Holy is his name. Siya, sabi niya, my Lord and my Savior. No? Savior. So napansin natin um, full of praise talaga si Mary. Because God considered her to be the mother of the Messiah. Kahit naman siguro sino sa atin. Ano? Um, kasi noong pong panahon nila, lahat ng mga single virgin women, no, yun ang kanilang mga panalangin inaasam nila na sila nga ay maging um, uh, nanay ng Messiah. Kasi nga po nasusulat sa Isaiah 14.7 that Uh, Messiah will be born of a virgin. Yan. So, mantakin mo yung tuwa talaga ni Mary na ako pala, ako pala yung pinili ng Panginoon. Kaya very humble siya dito sa verse uh, 146 na sinabing ano, God has been mindful of the humble state of His servant. No? So talagang her soul glorifies the Lord and her spirit rejoices. Ano pong ibig sabihin niyan? Yung talagang with all her being po, yung papuri, 
So, minsan tayo, pag umaawit, parang physical lang ba? Naawit lang, magandang boses natin. Siguro, ganyan, no? Pero mas maganda po ang papuri na nanggagaling pati sa soul and spirit ay kasama dun sa ating pagpupuri. So, parang ito yung tinuturo ni Mary sa atin, no? Na pag magpupuri tayo sa Panginoon, hindi lang body, no? Kundi kasama ang soul and spirit. Pag tayo ay nagbigay, papuri sa Panginoon. So ito yung kanyang uh, tinuturo sa atin. No? Okay, so napansin natin na talagang um, Mary is full of grace. No? Gayaan po talaga pag full of grace, di ba? When you are full of grace, you are full of praise as well. Ayan. Okay, so ano pa ang uh, nakita natin dito, no? So Mary acknowledges the greatness of God and the need for her to be saved. No? Kasi sabi niya, Savior. Pwede naman niyang tawagin ang Panginoon ng iba't ibang pangalan. Pero ito talagang sinabi niya that Jesus will be a Savior. No? Will be her Savior as well. Siyempre po si Mary, um, meron po, po din pong kasalanan. She is pure kasi virgin nga po siya. Ano? Pero um, alam naman po natin, sinasabi sa Bible, because of one man who sinned, all falls short of the glory of God. Diba po? But because of one man, Jesus, all have been saved. Yan. So alam naman po ni Mary na hindi din siya perfect. Meron po siyang mga karakteristics na gusto ng Panginoon, kagaya ng pagiging humble, pagiging obedient, no, pagiging discreet. So na pag-aralan po natin 'yan, yung discreet, yung uh, she can keep a secret lalo na po pag sensitive yung mga information kagaya nga po ng kanyang pagbubuntis. Ano po? So um, she acknowledged that uh, she needs a savior because she too um, is not perfect. Yan, okay. So ano pa po yung naaral natin? Um, uh, nakita natin na ni-recount ni Mary kung gaano ka-merciful yung ating Panginoon. Sabi niya, her, His mercy extends to those who fear Him from generation to generation to generation to generation. Buti na lang, ganun po. Kasi tayo rin po ang future generation na nakatanggap ng mercy and grace ng Panginoon. So, uh, kung maaaring talagang um, ito ay isa rin pong testament, yung pagiging pregnant ni Mary with the Savior, that God is a promise-keeping God. That God is a covenant-keeping God. Kasi pangako yan po ng Panginoon, kaya talagang hindi po kinakalimutan ng mga tao itong pangako ng Panginoon. Kasi nga for 400 years, walang mga messages, tahimik po, no? and suddenly ito na yung araw na tinalaga ng Panginoon na ibigay kay Mary yung favor na siya nga ay yung magiging um, nanay ng ating Savior. Okay? So, um, Sinabi pa niya dito, he has helped his servant Israel remembering to be merciful to Abraham and his descendants forever just as he promised. Yan. So nung, nung panahon na yun, very um, ano sila sa mga pangako ng Panginoon, yung sinasaisip, sinasapuso, inaaral palagi. So isang pwede rin po nating matutunan sa buhay ni Mary ito na magpapander sa mga promises ng Panginoon. Kasi mangyayari po eh, no? Sabi ng Panginoon na pag pinadala niya daw po yung kanyang salita, it will not come back to him void. So uh, tayo rin po sana nagme-meditate sa mga promises ng Panginoon kasi we will experience yung uh, kung mangyayari na yung mga pangako ng Panginoon. So kanina sinabi natin, Mary um, express her knowledge 
of the great, greatness of God. He acknowledged the greatness of God. And ngayon naman, he recount, she recounted the grace of God. Yan. Ano pa po? Um, so, um, God can use each one of us. So, si Mary, tungtunga siya. Biruin mo, sa dami, dinami, dami ng babae, ako ang pinili ng Panginoon. So, napakasaya niya doon, no? But, um, guro, ang isa pang mensahe po sa atin, brothers and sisters, is God can use each one of us. Just like God did to Mary, na ginamit niya si Mary para mangyari ang pangako na Messiah, tayo rin po, mga brothers and sisters. Mapalad kasi alam na natin kung ano yung umpisa at dulo ng kwento from birth of Jesus to the resurrection of Jesus. Ano, mas marami po tayong maikukwento sa iba. So we have a role to play to really let others know about Jesus, our Savior. No? Um, last week, meron kaming uh, Bible study sa, sa TI at um, yung topic, yung isang tao, si kilala yun natin, si Kiboloy ba yun? Clinic claim niya na siya si Jesus Christ. And uh, nakakalungkot po kasi meron daw po siyang 7 million followers. Eh hindi naman po totoo yung kanyang claim. So malaki po ang ating role na ipamahagi ang totoong balita tungkol kay Lord Jesus Christ. Kasi kung hindi po natin gagawin yun, baka kay Kibuloy po sila maniwala. Uh, hindi po tama na siya yung nagkiklaim na siya si Jesus. So, um, I, I think we have really a big role to play na ang totoong Lord Jesus Christ ang ating maiya pamahagi sa mga tao. We have to preach the grace of God so that others will also know and experience it. No? At sana tayo rin maging testament na nabubuhay ako ngayon dahil ng maayos, dahil sa ginawa ng Panginoong Jesus. So the way we live, also our life should show that we are indeed blessed with God's grace, that indeed Jesus is our Lord and Savior. Yun. So sana po um, kung meron tayong opportunity to minister and preach that Jesus Christ is our Savior, sana we seize that moment po. Ano. Yun. ano pa ang nakita natin dito sa awit ni Mary? No? Mary proclaims the goodness of God. No? Sabi niya, He has performed mighty deeds. No? Mighty deeds. Inaral ito ni Mary, hindi lang niya ito narinig, inaral niya at I'm sure na-experience niya rin ang ating Panginoon. Sabi niya, he scattered the proud, he brought down rulers but lifted up the humble, he filled the hungry with good things. No? Napakabuti talaga ng Panginoon. So ito yung, I'm sure araw-araw, um, Iniisip ni Mary yung kabutihan ng Panginoon. Kaya naman, siya yung pinili ng Panginoon ng overwhelming favor and grace na ibinigay kay Mary. So na, na-experience po ba natin yung goodness ng Panginoon sa araw-araw? I'm sure, no? Kahapon lang nagkaroon kami ng uh, Christmas party no? sa isang um, grupo. Ala, pagkain pa lang. Sinusulat namin yung putahe kung ilang uh, putahe kinain namin. Sampo. Grabe naman. Hindi ba goodness of God yon? Sobrang, sobrang goodness of God. Tuwing, ma- tuwing na-experience ko po yung plenty na yan, naalala ko na naman nung bata ako <laughs> na ang kanin, ang ulam namin ay kanin. <laughs> so kahapon, di na kami halos magkanin kasi ulam na lang ang meron. Di ba, Tio Lim? <laughs> Yan. So, ganyan pa lang po yung mga araw-araw na nasa ating hapag ay napakalalaking blessing na po ng Panginoon. Talagang the goodness of God overwhelms us every day. Yan. Okay. 
Yan, bago ako mapaiyak sa tuwa. Mm, next topic. So Mary declares yung gratitude sa Panginoon by saying, yun nga, my soul glorifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices. From now on, sabi niya, all generations will call me blessed for the mighty one has done great things for me. I'm sure hindi lang po si Mary ang nagawan ng Panginoon ng kabutihan. No? Kaya sana po meron tayo talaga lagi yung uh, attitude of gratitude. No? May nabasa ako na uh, may nagsabi na isang pastor ulit na um, if you ano daw, marry or combine prayer and joy, it results to gratitude. No? So whatever circumstances you have, you have to pray and keep the joy in your heart. No, Do not worry. Do not be sad about your circumstances. Pray about your circumstances. Be continually joyful and that will birth yung ating gratitude. Yan. Tama naman po. No? So kung kahit ano man pinagdadaanan natin when we pray, and we keep the joy in our hearts, it results to gratitude. Yan. So kagaya din itong si Mary, I'm sure lagi rin siyang uh, nagpipray na sana nga siya yung maging nanay ng Messiah. At ito nga, no? and she kept doing her best to be happy. Ito na, it ends with gratitude. No? Gratitude because God has been mindful of the humble state of her, his servant, sabi niya dito, no? Wow. So talagang like Mary, when we experience the greatness, the grace, and the goodness of God, we are overwhelmed with gratitude and we cannot stop praising God. Sana ganun po, no? Yung we cannot stop praising God. Nako Lord, sorry, hindi ko mapigilan. Gusto ko talagang umawit sa'yo araw-araw. Dapat ganun eh. No? <laughs> Dapat ganun yung ating uh, spirit. no Laging umaawit. Laging nagpupuri. Laging nagpapasalamat kahit na may mga problema naman. Huwag natin i-magnify yung problema. Let's magnify our God. no Okay. So Mary is really blessed because God chose her. She had the opportunity to care and love the Savior, no? No? Biro mo yan, eh. palakihin mo ang anak ng Diyos. Wow, what a privilege, no? I'm sure she also experienced yung provision and protection ng ah, Panginoon, no? May gifts pa nga yung three kings. Tapos nung medyo delikado yung buhay nila, sinabihan sila ng angel pumunta sa sa uh, Egypt no and she had the chance to be in the presence of God himself no for more than 30 years wow she was with Jesus i'm sure in many good times lagi sigurong namamangha si Mary ano po wow ano na naman kayang susunod na gagawin ng anak ko siguro lagi siyang on the watch no alert kung ano ang gagawin ng kanyang anak no and even up to the toughest times of the life of Jesus no hanggang mamatay nandoon talaga ang ina no ganyan naman po tayong mga parents no to the last uh, to the last breath kung pwede kung mabuhay pa tayo di ba nandoon tayo for our children no i'm sure um Mary enjoyed an intimate and personal relationship with God and more No, I, I'm sure hindi na natin masusulat lahat pero napaka-importante po yung intimate and personal relationship with God. No? Kung niloob nga ng Panginoon na ang anak niya ay mapunta sa katawan ng isang human para magkaroon ng intimacy, ganun din po ang gusto ng Panginoon sa atin. Intimacy ng relasyon sa kanya as if he is our father which totoo naman because of what the Lord Jesus has done we have become adopted sons and daughters no lagang ang Panginoon uh, 
He is longing to have that intimate and personal relationship with us po. So kung hindi nyo pa po nakikilala ng gusto o ng lubusan, ha? hindi naman talaga natin makikilala ng lubusan kasi laging araw-araw may surprise ang Panginoon na pagpapakilala sa kanyang sarili. But kung wala pa po kayong relasyon sa Panginoon, ako, kailangan na po ngayon na po natin isip ang Panginoong Jesus. Na open arms po yan ang ating Panginoon to see us uh, come to Him. No po. So, Mary is blessed, but we too are blessed. Tama po ba? Piling ko nga, mas mapalad pa tayo eh, no? No, but Mary is is blessed, but we too are blessed. Kasi we are the recipients of the grace of God, no? Alam naman natin, Jesus was born. Wala nga tayong kahirap-hirap mag-alaga ng <laughs> anak kagaya ni Mary, no? But Jesus was born para mamatay, no? Sabi nga nila, uh, Christmas, so this the season, yung birth, yung manger, tapos makita ko, this the reason, yung cross, na no? So yung reason talaga ng pagpunta ng Panginoong Jesus ay yung cross. Okay? So, He has redeemed us, justified us, reconciled us to the Father, and He took the punishment that we all deserve. No? Sobrang pagmamahal po ng Panginoon sa atin. Sana po, nararanasan niyo po yung pagmamahal na yan sa araw-araw. No? For God so loved us that He gave His Son. Alam niyo po, ang magandang ginagawa ko kung minsan is I personalize everything. Parang halimbawa po ito, for God so love the world. Hindi, sinasabi ko, for God so love me that He gave His one and only Son for me and that because I believe Him, I will not perish, but I will have eternal life. Ganun po sana yung ating uh, pagtingin dito sa verse na ito. Ano po? Personalized kasi totoo po. Personal po ang ating Panginoon. God did not send His Son into the world not uh, to condemn the world, no? But to save the world through Him. Doon sa verse 17 po yan. Like many, we are blessed too because we are recipients of the greatness of God. Aside from yung nakikita nating creation, no? pag plantita, plantito po kayo, talagang ma-appreciate yung creation, yung pagkakaiba-ibang bulaklak, pagkakaiba-ibang dahon, pagkakaiba-ibang itsura, talagang masabi mo, wow, this is the God I serve. He can make a little tiny thing into a great thing, no? Pag namumulaklak, kahit mga damo nga namumulaklak, natutuwa pa ako. Hindi mo to, parang mukhang damo naman, pero maganda pa rin ang bulaklak. Ano? Yan. So, ang pinakamatindi rin po na binigay ng pa ninoon sa atin is our being a recipient of the greatness of God. Paano po natin ma-receive yun, no The Holy Spirit. Is a testament of the greatness of God. Because we ha- have accepted the Lord Jesus as our Lord and Savior, He gave us also the Holy Spirit. No? The Spirit who raised Jesus from the dead lives in us. Ala, ang lakas, tindi ng power. Ano po? We have the power over sin because the great God, the Holy Spirit has been given to us. Kaya nga na po nung maalala niyo nung sinugo ng Panginoong Jesus yung kanyang mga ano disciple sabi niya you have to stay and wait for the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit will give you the power yan no so yan so the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you he who raised Christ will all from the dead will also give you life to your mortal bodies. No? The spirit who dwells in you. Galing naman yan. So yan po yung greatness. Bili mo yan, nasa atin ang spirito ng Diyos who made the heaven and earth, who made us. Huh, hindi ko maaarok kung minsan, no? Ang tindi 
ng pag-ibig ng Panginoon sa atin, mga kapatid, naman talaga, no? The Spirit who raised Jesus from the dead lives in me, dwells in me. Yan, ang pagpersonalize po, ano? Yan, para maramdaman natin, no? And for those who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. So, naging anak tayo ng Diyos, no? Dahil lahat yan sa ginawa po ng ating Panginoong Jesus. Okay, ano pa po? We are, of course, recipient of the goodness of God. Hindi na po natin, uh, ano yan, maikakaila kasi na-experience po natin yung kabutihan talaga ng Panginoon. Because of the goodness of God, we have become adopted sons and daughters of God and we are heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ. And we call God our Abba Father. No, dati very distant ang Panginoon, God talaga. No, ngayon, Father na po ang pwede nating itawag sa ating Panginoon who created the heaven and earth. So sabi po yan sa Romans 8. No, lahat po ng sinasabi natin nasa Romans 8 kasi nga po sabi nila, Romans 8 is the diamond of the ring. Uh, the ring is the Bible. No? Okay, so nandun po nasusulat that um, the spirit you receive does not make you slaves so that you live in fear and we, and uh, the spirit you receive brought about your adoption to sonship and by him we cry abba father the spirit himself testifies with our spirit that we are children of god and we are heirs and heirs of god and co-heirs with christ Diba? We will share, if we share in His suffering, we will also share in His glory. Bakit po tayo napunta dito? Eh, Mary yung pinag-uusapan kanina. Ano po? Gusto ko lang po i-connect that Mary was blessed because she received the grace of God, the goodness of God, the goodness of God, and she was full of gratitude. Tayo rin po, we have received the grace of God, We have received the greatness of God through the Holy Spirit, the goodness of God. And so, we should also be grateful. Yun po yung ating connection dyan, no? Para makita po natin. At lalong-lalo na overall ng ito dahil nga po sa pagmamahal ng Panginoon. No? We are recipients of the love of God. At ito pa, sinasabi niya that nothing can separate us from His love. Nandun po din yan sa Romans 8, to 39. No, that, you know, we, we should be convinced, brothers and sisters, lagang, dapat lagi natin sinasabi natin sa sarili natin to araw-araw, I am convinced. Sana po, sabay nga tayo mag-recite. Alam ko, hindi ko kayo maririnig, pero... Kung pwede pong mag-recite po tayo. I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels nor demons, neither present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate me from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Di ba po, pag-personalize, napakasarap naman. Wow, Lord, mal 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 na mahal mo talaga ako. Biruin mo yan, walang makapaghihiwalay sa akin sa pag-ibig mo. So kahit anumang circumstances ko sa buhay, alam ko, you will turn things to my advantage because you love me and you have my best interest at heart. Kung ganun po yung ating laging iniisip na kung maiinlab po talaga tayo sa Panginoon at lahat ng bagay na mangyayari sa ating buhay, makikita natin yung kamay ng Panginoon doon. Yan po, no? So we are indeed blessed. At ito, ito pa, no? We too, we, Mary too, will experience the glory of God. May sinasabi po ba yun? na may glory rin tayong ma-experience, meron din po yan sa Romans 8 pa rin that in all things, God works together for the good of those who love Him, 
who have been called according to his purpose. No, and those he predestined, he also called. Those who called, he also justified. Those he justified, he also glorified. So we will experience glory. No, na pag-usapan din natin lang last time. We will have a glorified body pagdating ng panahon. Yan, we will experience. So ano pong response natin? Napaka-blessed naman natin. Meron po ba tayong hahanapin? No? So sana kagaya rin po ni Mary that our soul magnifies the Lord. No? My soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. Sana laging ganun yung ating awit. Ano po? No? We have to accept the Lord Jesus as our Savior first. No, kailangan po unahin natin yan. Ang pagtanggap sa ating Panginoon so that He can cleanse us from our sins, forgive us, and justify us as if wala tayong guilt. No? Kasi sabi niya, no more condemnation po. Eh, no? Wow. So tanggapin muna po natin ang Panginoong Yesus sa ating buhay. And we should make an effort naman to know Him. So napansin natin si Mary, kilala niya ang Panginoon. Alam niya kung ano yung marvelous deeds ng Panginoon. No? Kaya paano niya nalaman yun? Siyempre po sa pagbabasa po ng uh, Bible, no? Old Testament sa kanila, siyempre tayo uh, may New Testament na rin. No? So we can only know God more and have that intimate relationship with Him if we also meditate on His Word, His promises. Makikita natin who He is. Like Mary, also, we should be willing and be ready to be used by God for His purpose. So, hindi lang po si Mary ang may purpose sa buhay. Tayo rin po lahat. Hindi, hindi po tayo napanganak kung wala pong purpose ang Panginoon sa atin. No? So, lahat po tayo may kanya-kanya pong assignment at sana po willing tayo to give all we got for the assignment na binibigay po ng Panginoon sa atin. Ngayon po, kung di nyo pa rin po nanganap, parang ano ba purpose ko sa buhay? Kung medyo malabo-labo pa rin po yan, no, kailangan po nating lumapit sa Panginoon, seek Him, pray. Lord, ano ba talagang gusto mong gawin ko? No? Sana po dalin mo ako sa path na makikita ko kung ano talaga ang purpose mo sa aking buhay at sana yun nga yung aking magawa. And in the end, no, that my life will become a worship to you as well. Sana po yung po yung ating panalangin. So like Mary, nurture an intimate and personal relationship with God. Kung maalala nyo po yung stages ng ating uh, pagiging kristyano, meron yung baby Christian, meron na uh, ano ba yung uh, may toddler Christian ba, may uh, teenager Christian, may adult Christian, may uh, mature Christian. Parang ganun din po, parang ang relasyon natin ng Panginoon, parang pagkakaroon po yan ng anak, ano po, na sa umpisa, medyo kailangan po ng feeding. So paano po tayo may feeding? kain ng salita ng Diyos, no? Magbasa, makinig, no? Marami pong resources ngayon sa internet. So, parang baby, pag-alaga ng anak, sabi ko nga, baby, you have to know God through His Word, no? Marami pong mga uh, maririnig natin mga preachers, no? Pakinggan po natin lahat yan, yung salita ng Panginoon. Basta po may Jesus po na pre-preach, No? Yan po yung tamang preaching, no? Basta pre-preach that the Lord Jesus is our Savior. So pag baby feeding, no? Habang lumalaki, hindi lang uh, feeding na, experiential na rin yung iba, no? Hanggang maging adult na Christian. Kailangan tuloy-tuloy nating nanonorture yung ating relationship sa Panginoon. And like Mary, we should live to worship to praise and thank God no because we are indeed blessed tama po ba mga kapatid no 
how can we live a life of worship? Sabi mo, no? Dami ko naman mali. Ay, ate Dang, ay ako rin po, marami din, mali-mali. No, minsan. Kasi nga po, hindi tayo perfect. Pero, no, if we listen to the Holy Spirit, at uh, kung nagkamali, uh, igagay niya po tayo kung anong gagawin. At kung nagkamali po tayo, Repent po tayo, ask forgiveness, balik agad sa Panginoon. No? Kasi alam naman ni Lord, meron tayong, uh, we are still living in the human body. Na uh, flesh nga po, no? literal na flesh. So flesh din minsan ang moves. <laughs> okay, so uh, ano lang po, i-desire po natin sa ating mga sarili that we should live. A life na nag-worship, nag-praise, and nag-thank sa Panginoon. And we will really experience no, yung life na blessed. No? So sabi ko nga, kahit ito lang po yung matandaan po natin. We are full of grace, so we should be full of praise. Kahit yun lang po yung maalala natin sa <laughs> dami ng napag-usapan natin nga. No? So again... Like Mary, we have experienced God's grace, God's greatness, God's goodness. So we should be full of gratitude. And we too will experience God's glory. Di ba po? Sinabi niya rin po yan. Therefore, dapat we are full of praise. Okay, so yun lang po yung ating mensahe ngayong araw. So hopefully po na mama mapagmuni-munihan po natin talaga na, wow, Lord, so much love you have for me. Halos hindi ko maarok, maintindihan, ma- makomprehend. But thank you, Lord, because you chose me. Ganun po ang panalangin natin. Pasalamat po tayo sa Panginoon. He chose us to know Him, to experience Him sa ating mga buhay. Sige po, manalangin na po tayo. Panginoon, maraming maraming salamat. Our hearts are so full of praise because of what you have done, Lord Jesus. Like Mary, we are also called blessed. We are blessed. And even our next generations will also call us blessed because what you have done in our lives. Salamat, Panginoon. You have shown us your greatness, your goodness, your grace, and we know we too will experience glory. Salamat, Panginoon, that we will not perish. We will enjoy eternal life because you love us so much. You love us so much. Ang aming mga palanalangin, Panginoon, tulungan mo kami na makita ang purpose namin sa buhay. Tulungan mo kami na gawin kung ano man ang purpose mo sa aming buhay, Panginoon. Makipag- Tulungan kami sa iyo, Panginoon, upang ang buhay namin ay maging kalugod-lugod sa iyo. Lord, we know we live to worship you. We live to glorify your name. At sana po, Panginoon, yun po ang aming magawa. At sana rin hindi kami maging madamot na kami lang ang nakaka-experience ng iyong pag-ibig, kundi mai. Bahagi din namin sa aming mga kapatiran, sa ibang tao, sa aming mga kapamilya, sa aming makakilala, sa neighbor, sa kung sino man ang dalhin mo sa aming mga buhay, Panginoon. Makita sana nila that we are blessed and that they too wants to be blessed by you, Panginoon. We ask your blessing upon all of us, each family that is represented today, Panginoon, at yung mga iba pa pong naming mga ka-church na hindi po nakasama. Ang dalangin namin, Panginoon, ang buhay namin be full of grace and be full of praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen! Amen po. Amen. Thank you po, Tita Dang. Grabe, nakakabusog na. Ang sarap nun po ng breakfast ko. <laughs> Salamat po. Ayan. So marami po tayong natutunan mula sa uh, lesson natin today. Um, hinihikayat ko po ang bawat isa. Kung meron po kayong um, talagang nag-strike po sa inyo, no? Kindly share one lesson we have learned today. You can comment it para mabasa po natin or you can just unmute or kayo po, kung saan po kayo mas komportable. 
Ayan. So habang uh, nire-recall po natin yung mga napag-aralan po natin ngayong araw, no? Uh, babatiin ko lang po ang ating mga kasama sa ating uh, Facebook Live. Sina Brother Augusto Banganan, Sister Gisilda Banganan, Sister Wilma Tamiing, Brother Rans Esqueho, welcome po. Uh, Sister Kim Cuervo, uh, Brother Roberto Gonzalez, Tita Tetet, Ate Rachel, uh, Ma'am Weng Ferrer, Brother Jubes Lopez, Sister Arlene Uson, Tita Joan, Brother Jerry, uh, Doc Ellie, pagaling po kayo, Brother John Eliel Laurel, Sister Susette Empainado, Sister Jonna, Brother Sean, Sister Jennifer Camero, uh, Tita Flora Ribuquiao, Sai, Sha, Tito Andy, hello, uh, Kuya Rex, Tita Emma, Kuya Alduin, Tito Mon, Ati Che, uh, Brother Jeff, Sister Jenny Rojas Reyes, Ati Faith, Kuya Ahmed, Ati Kay, uh, Orlita Ar Lucas, Tita Carol Fontanilla, Tita Mayla, Joyce Colanay, Brother Reynaldo Gonzalez, uh, Nanay Lulita Rimasatay Ador, Eunice, Sister Len de la Cruz, Brother Jeffrey Vister, hello po sa inyo, welcome po sa ating Sunday service. So ayan, so um, ini-encourage ko po ang bawat isa na mag-share ng kanilang lesson na natutunan today. So it's nice to hear stories of God's uh, goodness, greatness, and grace, but experiencing it firsthand is indescribable, uncontainable talaga. And we will be filled with hope and praises. So yung praises po, ano ah, hindi lang po yun yung pagkanta natin, ganyan. So ang pagbibigay ng praises sa ating Panginoon ay pagbibigay ng thanksgiving sa Kanya, uh, full of admiration sa ating Panginoon. And sabi nga ni Tita Dang, uh, kapag full of grace, we are full of praise. Ayan, wag po natin kakalimutan. Ayan, okay. So, uh, isik din po natin like Mary, no? Let's seek our God wholeheartedly. Ayan. And let's have an intimate and personal relationship with our God. Okay. Meron po bang gustong mag-share ng kanilang piece of ano, natutunan today? Anyone? Pastor? Well, uh, gaya doon sa aking senior sa chat room. So, Ate Dang, thank you very much for your uh, ministry. Indeed, uh, I'm so blessed. At uh, nakita ko talaga yung uh, malaking uh, impact sa buhay mo at sa buhay ng bawat isa yung uh, na-experience talaga natin yung greatness, yung grace, yung goodness na nagbunga talaga ng gratitude sa atin. Hindi totoo yung mga senior mo at uh, I'm so inspired and uh, blessed dun sa mga naibahagi mo sa amin. Kaya nagpupuri ako sa Panginoon. I raise a hallelujah to our God, my Savior. Um, I know marami rin uh, mga kasama natin sa Zoom at saka sa Facebook Live ang na-bless ngayong araw na ito. So, siguro i-encourage ko yung uh, ating uh, multimedia team na magpuri tayo sa Panginoon after this uh, sharing dahil let's continue to praise and uh, mag-raise tayo ng uh, hallelujah to our God. Thank you, Ati Dang. Thank you, everyone. Yan, thank you, Pastor. Yan, hindi ko po nabasa yung nasa chat box. Wala. Sabi po ni Ati Che, we should always live our lives in gratitude. Ayan. Yeah. Okay. Gusto ko din pong i-acknowledge si Brother Dory. Kasama po natin siya sa ating Facebook Live. Um, how about Tito Ben, the Judy? Any, ano po? Uh, as for me, uh, continuous praise and adoration kay Lord. You know, at... Uh, you are going to be a blessing to a lot of people pagka ganun ang ginagawa mo. Kasi makikita nila si Lord sa sa buhay natin. 
And I really appreciate what uh, Sister Dang is doing, lalo na rin sa TI, sa pray support niya. Na she is making a difference doon sa... Ano, making a difference for Christ is uh, iba. Iba talaga. And uh, we might not have the results immediately, but planting the seeds, you know, will someday become a ano, reality. So, yun yung uh, sa akin. Thank you so much, Sister Dang, for your message today. We love you. Tita Judy? Uh, very inspiring ang message, Sister Dang. Uh, talagang, like Mary, she was blessed and And we are also blessed sa pagkakabless na kaya. Uh, living like Christ-like, na maging obedient tayo kay Lord, like Mary, nag, uh, nag, ano siya, in-accept niya yung assignment na binigay sa kanya, in-accept niya yung to bear Jesus Christ in her womb. Uh, alam niya na ang magiging resulta nito, doon sinabi nga na Maraming virgin na nag-release na, na, na maging mother ng Messiah. Pero sa Bible, sabi na, uh, nung sinabi kay Mary yun, medyo na ano siya, natakot siya sa sasabihin ng mga tao. Even Joseph, bago ikasal sa kanya, nag-doubt din. But pinan, 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 pinanindigan ni Mary yung pag-accept niya sa Lord na, yes, I will. Kaya tayo din as Christians, ang obedience is very important gaya doon sa message din ni Pastor doon sa lesson natin kay King Samuel. Our obedience to God is more than our sacrifice and offering. Mas mag-glorify si Lord pag tayo ay obedience sa Kanya. Yan lang. Thank you. Thank you, Tina Juki. Ayan. Tama po na obedience is better than sacrifice talaga. Ayan. And yun nga po, no, after accepting Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, it doesn't stop there. As a Christian po, no, let us be used by God talaga na as He transformed us from glory to glory. Hindi naman po yun instant. Pero in our own little ways, Basta magpagamit lang po tayo kay Lord to give Him honor and glory. Ayan. Thank you po, Tito Ben, Tita Judy. Okay. Meron pa po bang gustong mag-share? Before uh, we ask Ace for our tithes and offering. Ah, wait. Babasahin ko po yung nasa ating chat. Okay, sabi po ni Tita Josefa, thanks God sa buhay mo sis down for the very inspiring message from the Lord. From Tita Abet, for all have sinned because of one man, but we have been saved because of one man. We do good not to be saved, but because we are already saved, we owe it to be good. Ayan, amen po, tama po. Na, uh, wala po tayong... Hindi po tayo, no? Wala, walang deeds na pwedeng makapag-save sa atin. Only God. And yeah, we are uh, very thankful, grateful talaga. Dahil sabi nga ni Pastor nung last week, paano kung hindi dumating si Jesus Christ? Malamang, hindi pa rin tayo forgiven. So, uh, let's praise God. And talaga kung natanggap natin yung goodness, grace, and greatness ni Lord, we cannot just contain it talaga. Para bang tulad ng sabi ni Tita Dang, talagang hindi mo mapigilan. So, let's let's have that spirit na hindi natin mapigilan ang pagpupuri sa ating Panginoon. At sabi po ni Sister Joyce, uh, thank you Sister Dang for the fruitful and inspiring message. I've learned that despite of what circumstances we are experiencing, we should be still be grateful and praise God. With the joy in our hearts. Ayan. Maraming salamat po. Na talagang nararamdaman din namin na talagang lahat tayo, maraming po tayong natutunan ngayong umagang ito. And we praise God for that. So uh, let's proceed na po. I will ask uh, Ace for our tithes and offering. Thank you, Tita Dang. 
Uh, let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for your goodness in our lives as we give our tithes and offerings. We recognize your generosity in our lives. You are a giving God. We can never outgive you. You are a God who blesses, and our, li- and our lives are all blessed by you. Thank you, Father, for giving us financial blessings. Thank you for how you've been providing good jobs and businesses to everyone in this place. We thank you for the physical and mental strength that you provide so that we can all perform our best in our jobs, businesses, and ministries. Our God, we praise and thank you. This is we pray. Amen. Sing hallelujah to our God. Glory hallelujah to our God. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship in one accord. Every praise, every praise. ang bawat isa na tumayo at tayo magpuring muli sa ating Panginoon. Let's continue to praise our God by singing uh, yung kinanta natin kanina, yung tribes. So habang po prepare po ng ating social media ministry, uh, basahin ko lang po yung message ni Tita Oli. Thank you, Sis Dang, for bringing the message of God to us. Ayan. Thank you, Tita Dang, for being an instrument, for being the mouthpiece of the Lord today. Every tribe will see your glory And every nation's bow before you Like a God, there is no one like a God. 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 There is no one like a God
culato Dios, cual la canca tu lado Dios, cual la canca tu lado Dios, a Juan ni capada mo Dios, a Juan ni capada mo Dios, no a Juan ni capada mo Dios, a Juan ni capada mo Dios, there is no one like No matches, endless, no one restraint. This is our God, this is our God. Praise it, honor and strength unto our God, unto our God. No matches, endless, no one restraint. This is our God, never we try to sing. Ayo, 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 to our God. Ayan, sana po lahat ay na-bless ngayong umaga and thank you Lord sa life ng bawat uh, worship team and SOC Med team. Okay, sige, let's ano po sa ating mga announcements. Marami po tayong mga kaabang-abang na announcements po ngayong December. SOC Med? Ayan, so sa darating na December 19, alam ko po lahat ay excited na sa ating last face-to-face -face ngayong taon sa ating Sunday service Christmas celebration. So um, you may join us face-to-face -face via Facebook Live or Zoom. Okay, so kaabang-abang din po ang uh, praise and worship natin sa, sa araw na ito. So, uh, we join us face-to-face via Facebook Live or Zoom. Okay. Huwag niyo rin pong kalimutan ang ating Ecclesia in the Home, 8 o'clock habit. So, speaking of praise, magkakaroon din po kami ng praise report sa ating Sunday service sa December 19. Ayan. So, kaabang-abang din po ang mga, yung journey po namin sa ating bisita Ecclesia na ginanap ay uh, magkakaroon po tayo ng praise report about doon. So, ma-excite po sana kayo dahil kami po uh, personally na pumunta doon ay hanggang ngayon, uh, nandun pa rin po yung overwhelming and excitement na ipinakita ni Lord at pinadama niya sa amin. Okay, morning prayer devotion with Tita Myla, Mondays to Fridays, 6 a.m. The book of Genesis, the beginning. So, meron po tayong book of Genesis mamaya, 3 p.m. Inaanyayahan po namin ang lahat ng uh, kababaihan. And I love you uh, every other Sunday. So, we'll let you know kung meron po tayong I love you ngayong gabi. And uh, let's not, uh, let's for, uh, remember, sorry, let's remember our fundraising for a cause. We are knocking at your heart to help raise funds for Sister Uh, Jesusa Colanay for her upcoming heart surgery. So uh, you may send your uh, contributions or love gift sa ating BPI account at Gcash account na nasa inyong screen. So uh, let us just know kung para po ito sa ating fundraising for a cause or para sa tithes, para mahiwalay po natin sa tithes and offering. 
Ayan, and yung Facebook live selling po natin for Aquas, medyo uh, hindi po kami natulay this uh, uh, last Saturday dahil po sa ating preparation sa ating Christmas Sunday service. So we'll let you know kung kailan po namin ilo-launch ulit ito. So we're asking uh, for, for everybody na uh, makilahok, makijoin, makishare. And you may also uh, give items. Uh, donate any usable items to be given to Sister Josefa or Sister Jesusa. Ayan. So, ilalive selling po natin yan. I-message nyo lang po kami or si Pastor, si Tita Olive or anyone po sa amin. Makipag-coordinate po kayo. Ayan. Maraming salamat po. Okay. Yun lang. Um, maraming salamat sa inyong pagdalo. So, magkita-kita po tayo sa susunod na Sunday. So, let's have our closing prayer. Ako na po. Ayan. <laughs> okay, let's pray. Uh, Heavenly Father, maraming salamat, O oh God, sa reminder nyo ngayong umaga. Lord, salamat na we are your recipients of your goodness of your grace. And Lord, salamat dahil nakita namin yung greatness nyo sa buhay ng bawat isa. Panginoon, naniniwala kami na buksan lang namin yung puso namin at magpagamit sa inyo. And you will use us mightily kung nasan man po kami. Lord, I pray na yung bawat isa na nakikinig ngayong umaga at kasama namin, Panginoon. Lord, touch their hearts. Remind us, O oh God, na accepting you as our Jesus Christ, our Savior, doesn't stop there. We are mandated to go and preach the gospel. The gospel is the good news, O oh God. Lord, salamat. Dahil alam ko ang bawat isa sa aming Panginoon ay hinihipon niyo ang bawat puso namin. Reminding us also that this season is not about gifts, but the gift we receive from you. And you are the reason of this season. Lord, thank you for bringing us back to the true essence of celebrating Christmas. And Lord, I pray na as we go on with our day, mapuno kami ng praises, ng thanksgiving sa inyo. Lord, give us the thirst and hunger to know you more. I know, Lord, na you are the one who causes the growth. Lord, we thank you sa lahat ng opportunity na ginagrab namin to know you more. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you po. Yes. Every time we see Happy lunch po! Nakita po tayo po di sa susunod na Sunday. Face to face. Thank you po Ate Dang. Thank you Ate Dang for the words. Salamat po. This event is a good one. Bye bye! Bye po! God bless! Enjoy! God bless! Thank you Dang! God bless! Thank you! Ace. Carm, thank you, Carm. Yes, po. Magkita-kita po tayo mamaya sa ating Genesis 3 p.m.
and the presence of God as well. God bless. Thank you very much. Love and restraint. This is our God. Ever we try to sing praise and glory, honor and strength. Bayana family.